Hi, I'm Julie, keeper of my home. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so happy to have you here. Now, my husband and I are going to take you on a little trip today. We live on a dead end road. It's just farm fields, potato fields, potato roads. So we're going to head down those and see what we can find. So come along with us. <music> They are the stickiest, messiest berry that you can pick. They get all over your hands, and when you're picking them, the stems and everything stick to your fingers because you're just sticky. So it's kind of a mess to do, but we love doing it. And my kids will tell you that they don't smell so good. They think they smell like stinky feet. cranberries picked. Let's go take a ride and look around before we head back home. What you're seeing here, way off in the background, is Canada. We live in northern Maine, and if you've never been here, it is one of the most beautiful places in Maine that you could ever visit. Here you can see the border. This is about two miles from our home. This border crosses over into New Brunswick, Canada. The brook that you see runs right through our village that we live in. 
all the way into Canada. Now that we're back home, we need to get that juice made. This is a steam juicer that we purchased a couple of years ago. I can leave a link for it in my description box below. It's just a different way to get juice. You use steam in order to pull the juice from whatever it is you're juicing, whether it's fruit or vegetables, whatever it is. So today we are going to juice the cranberries that we picked. And I have to tell you, my husband and I also picked the last of our apples from our apple orchard. So he's going to get those all washed up. And we're going to add those to the cranberry juice, making cran apple juice. We've never done that before. So this is going to be our first time. And I can tell you now, this juice was truly amazing. <laughs> Since this juice is steamed, it's considered pasteurized, so no further canning is necessary. But if you want to err on the side of caution or you plan on storing the juice in your larder, you can water bath it for about 15 minutes for pints and 20 minutes for quarts. There's so many things you can do with this juicer. You can use the juice to make ice, punch, smoothies, popsicles, jelly, flavor ice cream with it, making homemade syrups. And if you're serving a large crowd for dinner, you can use the steamer for that too. Put your vegetables in there, your seafood, your fish, your meats. Just be sure the water in the bottom pot never runs dry. Well, I'm not going to lie when I tell you this juice was a lot of work because it was a lot of work, but so worth it. I mean, we know what's going into it. going to weigh out the cranberries. Now this was kind of a guesstimate a little bit because the recipe that we use I kind of altered because I didn't want to use a lot of sugar. What we ended up doing is weighing out two pounds of cranberries at a time and adding a half a cup of sugar for every two pounds. Cranberries are very bitter. I believe we ended up using eight pounds of cranberries in total. And then we added apples. Now I'm not sure how many apples we added because we just threw them in. We just kind of guesstimated on what we thought would be good enough. And I think we hit the nail right on the head because it was delicious. We're going to steam juice this for about an hour. And then once it's done, we're going to release the juice into a large pot. Now typically I release it right into jars, but we're going to can this. So I'm going to put it in this big pot so that we can put all of our batches in together so that all the flavors are joined together into one. You can see here the juice coming out of the tubing. Oh my gosh, our house smelled so good. Despite the fact that one of our sons came over and said, what smells like stinky feet? <laughs>
cran apple juice. It is amazing. So go get yourself a steam juicer. We had a lot of apples left over. So I went ahead and made some applesauce using the pulp of the fruit in the steam juicer and some apple juice. Oh my word, no sugar needed. Amazing. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.